I'm about to get all 110 trophies for Batman Arkham Knight, but there's already a problem. Arkham Knight is pure torture. That platinum is just horrendous. There are some absolutely brutally difficult trophies. We've got a long road ahead of us. The first step was to play through the story and I started unlocking these trophies pretty easily until I got my first taste of what would be an excruciatingly painful grind. I had to do this race to unlock a key to save Catwoman. She has this explosive collar around her neck and in order for you to unlock it, you have to solve like plenty of riddles and do a whole bunch of tedious things. Now, while this race wasn't that hard. As you'll see later on, there were some that really had me raging, but I got the key from beating this race, which allowed me to unlock the collar once, but I would need to do it several more times for other trophies. Oh, the road to hell. After that, I just continued playing through the story, getting some casual trophies. And by the time this was over, that's when the real challenge began. And they were called AR challenges. And some of these, I kid you not, are some of the hardest trophies I've ever attempted in my life. And here's what they are. There are six categories. Combat, Predator, Batmobile Race, Batmobile Combat, Batmobile Hybrid, and Scarecrow. Each challenge basically has tasks you have to complete in order to get three stars. The less tasks you complete, the less stars you get. For example, on this one, if I did all three of these tasks, I will get three stars. Now there are three non-DLC trophies involving these. One for getting 23 stars, one for getting 46 stars, and finally one for getting 69 stars. The developers had to have been trolling with that one. And when I said some of these trophies were the hardest I've ever tried to do in my life, it's the DLC ones where I had to do combat related stuff, which you'll see later. But for now, I had to do basic challenges that weren't too bad. Oh, we got Sins of Youth. I achieved 23 stars. And it was here when things took a turn for the worse because I was doing the easiest challenges to get three stars initially. But to get 46 and 69, you have to do some of the harder ones. And I was really struggling with these. For example, in this one, I need to get the timer to reach six minutes. Each tank I destroy adds 10 seconds and they make you one shot throughout the entire challenge. I died? How? Oh my gosh. No! Oh my gosh. Get them all. Oh my gosh. No! 544, bro! Again, here we are at five minutes. A few more tank kills and I'm good. We got it! Six minutes! Yes! Yes! Whoo! Now I could die. Oh my gosh. I don't care. We just died at 623. I got my six minutes. And then as I was playing another challenge, the unexpected happened. Come on. Bro! No shot. But I eventually completed enough challenges to give me 46 stars. Fortunate son. Now I'm not gonna lie, this next challenge had me going crazy. This is one of the combat challenges where you have to get a certain score to get three stars. You get score by doing like different types of combos, by not taking damage, and using different gadgets during the fight. You even get a bonus if you maintain your combo throughout the entirety of the round. In order to maintain your combo, you, you can't take damage and you also have to attack fast enough so where you don't lose momentum. Ignore the fact that I even had to get a high score. I couldn't even survive the waves. Right, right. Bro, there's literally so many. How are you supposed to take that many people out? Listen to what I just said right there. How am I supposed to take that many people out? The scary part about this game is that it has a trophy for completing this specific challenge without ever losing your combo with four different characters. This is what I meant by one of the hardest trophies I've ever went for. And there's another one that's equally as hard after this. Here I am not even able to take out the enemies, not worrying about maintaining my combo or not taking damage. So I had some serious practice to do. And I decided I wasn't gonna do this challenge and I was gonna just do something else just so I can get the 69 trophy. So let's focus on that for now. And so this was the last challenge I needed for the 69 stars. And this one, I have to sneak up on tanks from behind and shoot them in the back. I need to destroy six within two minutes and 30 seconds. If I can do that, the trophy is mine. Oh yeah, and if I get spotted, I have to restart. Wow, that was swift. Ooh. There's no way you saw me. Oh, you didn't see me. That dude is blind. Bro, why did they make this so difficult? Come on, that's four. It's about to be five right here. Okay, we need one more. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think this is it right here. Yes! Absolution, baby! <laughs> I'm 
finally! This next trophy stops a lot of people from getting the platinum. You have to perform 15 different combat moves in one free flow. So a free flow, like I said earlier, is where you continuously hit enemies and you don't take any damage at all and you keep your combo up. So you just have to use 15 different attacks in one combo. It's quite challenging, but it's not too crazy if you have like a list of the moves in front of you. And I just kept pausing just to give myself some extra time and to process what was going on because a lot was happening at once. I'd pull off one move, pause the game, look at the list and continue that. Let's go! Brutality 101! <laughs> I'm the GOAT, bruh! I'm the GOAT! The next several trophies were kind of just like tedious stuff you do in the free room. Destroy watchtowers. Hey, there it is. Gates of Gotham. Save firefighters. There goes the trophy. Death of Innocence. Do some side missions. Things of that nature. Dark Allegiances, done. However, I did hear a couple people have trouble with this trophy. You have to fly under three different bridges across the map without ever touching the ground. To do this, I just drove in my car at full speed and I ejected and then started going down and up and down and up until I got through all the bridges. Gotham After Midnight. And then I went on to save Catwoman by completing all the Riddler trials. And you know, these are supposed to be challenging, but I graduated valedictorian of Harvard University, so these were a cakewalk. Totally didn't need to look up one or two here and there. Just because we saved Catwoman though, didn't mean that we were done with the Riddler. He was still out on the loose, and in order to beat him and get a trophy, I had to find hundreds of collectibles around the map. This was so annoying, and the most tedious part of this entire game. And then you team up with Catwoman to take on Riddler in a boss fight. He summons these robots on you, and when you beat them up, they explode in the same way that I hope the console does of the man who designed this trophy. But the fight's not too bad. Here we go. I think this is the last phase. Oh man, he's not dead yet. Oh wait, is he? Well, not dead technically right but captured apprehended whatever you want to say all right buddy you're coming with me to the pen after the fight catwoman and batman have a moment i see you batman going crazy bro imagine being liked by a woman huh and there you go buddy with the rest of them finally we got this trophy riddle me that it's only a bronze it's crazy at this point i needed one more trophy for the platinum but i wasn't gonna get that until i finished all the dlc because like i previously mentioned the dlc for this game is insane they have short little storylines for different characters like harley quinn red hood batgirl catwoman nightwing and robin Completing all these gives you trophies. I started off completing Batgirls because she has the longest DLC, but it's actually pretty quick. Nothing too crazy here. And I did the same with the other characters. Not much to show because it was just kind of boring and just story stuff. Besides this one moment when I was playing as Catwoman. No way they didn't see that. These guys don't see me? Yo, they're blind. They literally have flashlights on their guns. They don't see me. Yo, fire these dudes, Riddler. These guys are whack. They literally... Bro, if these are the thugs you're hiring, man, you're not accomplishing nothing in the crime scenes. So let's fast forward into the interesting stuff. I had to get more stars and AR challenges with specific vehicle skins. So this is the 1989 Batmobile skin. I need to earn 33 stars and challenges while using it. And this was one of the races that I was really struggling with. It's a three-lap race, and every lap gets harder as you go. And I'm telling you, on these races, they give you little to no room for error you slip up once and that's it gg i don't remember this one being the hardest one i did but i remember it was challenging and i think on the hardest one i might have spent like an hour or two just doing the race over and over what how do you get past that how do you get past that what do you do what are you doing car bro this race is so bad after struggling on that part for a while, I finally got past it. In this specific race, I had to complete all three laps in under three minutes and 10 seconds. This got really scary. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. I'm alive. I never made it this far before. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Car, car. I'm done. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. That just screwed me over. I have 10 seconds. <laughs> yes finally bro but it was while i was going for this trophy when something tragic happened bro what is this a joke no no i this is not ruining something for me right i can't even close the game my, my stuff is frozen it's not letting me turn off my console by by the power button wait what just happened the game's not loading the game's not loading I had heard stories of people having to restart the entire Platinum playthroughs because of stuff like this. And I was scared that this just happened to me. And I always used to say, man, how does that happen to people? That's never happened to me before. But yet here we are. It's just like that time some guy was talking crazy to me online and I told him I hope his console explodes and then my PC stopped working like the next day. Oh wait, wait, it just loaded. Please work, please don't make me lose all my progress. 
I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. I literally thought I had to like start from scratch. I was gonna cry. I'm making a backup save right now. After that scare, it was time for me to go back to challenges. And this was the last one I needed for the trophy. Yes! Oh my gosh! Street demons! Sheesh! We beat it by point. 36th of a second and it was during these vehicle skin trophies that I raged like the worst throughout the entire playthrough And you'll see why right here. No way, bro Oh my gosh Look at the time I got in this race and then the time I needed for three stars You tell me I lost by 0 0.03 seconds. Are you serious? And then this kept happening to me every time I would play this mandatory race Come on This stupid race pisses me off, bruh Bro, why can't I beat this? No lie, this stuff had me raging like I just died one off of Tag Dogs in Black Ops 1 or something. This is unheard of. I don't typically rage like this in games anymore. But eventually I beat it. Finally, bro. Sheesh, that was so annoying. I, I, I don't think I can win this race. I'm not gonna lie. But each time I say that, I somehow muster up the will to keep trying. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, finally. Yeah. Yes. And so I got the vehicle skin trophies done. They were a pain in the butt, and I was just glad to be done with them. Ooh, finally those are done. Life after death. Now, there are two specific trophies that I feel like are some of the actual hardest trophies I've ever tried to go for. And we're going to get to those soon. But before that, I had to do the same thing with the AR challenges, but with the different playable characters. And so that would be Robin, Catwoman, Batgirl, Nightwing, Azrael, Red Hood, and Harley Quinn. For this, I just did the easiest challenges that I could find to get it over with as quickly as possible. These were pretty easy. Now it's time to do the hardest trophies in this entire video. Just by the percentage of these, you can tell these are crazy. 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1. Let's attack these now. Remember back when I was getting destroyed in this combat challenge? Well, it was time to do this one again with a perfect free flow in every round. Remember what that means is you can't take any damage once you start your combo and you have to maintain that combo throughout every single round. So even if I don't take any damage throughout the entire challenge, if I lose my combo, it's over. And I had to do this with four different characters. The first character I tried to do it with was Nightwing. This obviously didn't go well at all. Where? <laughs> like where, bro? Why are you all the way over there? And while I didn't take damage right there, my combo broke because it was a guy all the way in the back and I couldn't reach him, unfortunate. So here I'm at the fourth round. Whenever you see the tall, big dudes, that's how you know you're on the last round. These guys are the biggest threats. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> why, why, why? And then this time I was on the fourth round. I had taken out all the big dudes. If I can clutch up right here, this would be huge. I'm gonna cry, bro. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm going to cry! Oh my gosh, I almost lost the combo. All big dudes are down. All brutes are down. Now we gotta worry about the shield dudes. Even just watching these clips as I'm editing makes me want to go on a rant about how bad this trophy is. I think I spent maybe two or three hours trying to do this with Nightwing, and this was only one of the four characters I had to complete it with. This trophy literally rivals some of the Crash 4 trophies in terms of difficulty. But here's the best strategy I was able to come up with. When you get to the fourth round, you target the big dudes first. Take them out with triangle and circle once your meter's filled. Next up is the medics. Do the same thing for them. Lastly is the shield dudes. You stun and then aerial attack them so they drop the shields. Be careful though, because people can pick them back up. At this point, you can just focus on the normal enemies and you should be good. This seemed to be the most effective strategy for me. Look what happened in this attempt. Finally, I did it! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Bro! We did it once! Oh my gosh! <laughs> We only need to do it three more times. It took me almost two hours to do that one time. Doing it as Catwoman wasn't that bad because the fourth round, they don't spawn any brutes, which are the tall guys. So it made it easier and I did hers the fastest. Yes. <laughs> With Robin, they do spawn the Brutes, but I had experience already from Nightwing's run that I was able to do this one. With trouble, yeah, it took me a while, but I was able to do it. Oh, 
Um, that was so close. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, oh finally. After hours. Oh. At this point, going for it with Batman, I felt pretty confident because I had several hours of practice under my belt. For some reason though, this still gave me loads of trouble. I would literally lose my combo in the most BS ways you can think of. Take a look at this. He picked up a shield right at the end! Literally last three guys! Oh my god. Like I said earlier, if you punch someone who's holding a shield, it ruins your combo. The man picked up a shield right as I was about to punch him. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh, but it doesn't end here. There's some more BS. Keep in mind, I'm skipping all the first three rounds and just showing you the final rounds. So anytime I lost, I had to start from round one, go hitless through all the rounds and get back up to here. If you saw right there, those two guys tried punching me, so I pressed triangle to counter, but I was out of range, so he just tried to counter like the air, and it ruined my combo. Those were literally the last people. But if there's anything to learn from watching my videos is that persistence will always win in the end. That's one of the hardest trophies I've ever gotten in my life. Man! This next trophy was only like slightly easier than the last. But I spent like four minutes explaining the first one, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Essentially, you can see my score at the top right. I need that to be 1,050,000. Once it does, I will get a Killer Croc boss fight and have to take him down. The hard part is getting to 1 million. They endlessly spawn enemies at you, and in order to get your score up to a million, you have to maintain a combo of like 400. The difference between this, though, is that you don't have to do it all in one combo. Like, if I get hit, I can just start up my combo again. If I'm a few minutes into the fight, and my combo gets ruined, they start spawning harder enemies, and then it's harder to build up a good combo again. And the higher your combo, the more points you get. So I would just keep restarting over and over until I just got one run where I just was doing really well. Sometimes I would come really close. Those punches, bro. Bro, we're getting so close. On this attempt, I had over a 400 hit combo and I was really close. Keep in mind, this took me like hours to get. This was so hard. So I reached the amount of points I need. The enemies will stop spawning and once I finish them off, Killer Croc will come in and I have to take them out. Oh my gosh. Bro, this is the first time I made it this far. I have to win this Croc fight. I've got Nightwing with me. Okay. Whew, we got him once. Okay. We got him again. I can't take too many more hits though. Okay, we got him again. Okay. Fourth time. Dodge. I'm locked in. Dodge. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Dodge. Is this it? Oh my god. Requiem for a killer. I got the trophy, man. The two hardest trophies in the entire game. I think I still have more to go that are, I think are still hard, but those two were insane. So next we had to do a few stealth trophies. They're kind of similar though, so I'll only show one of them. In this one, I have to take out all the enemies in this area using knockout smashes. So when you sneak up behind someone, it gives you the prompt to press triangle to silently take them out. And as you're like choking them out, it says to press square for a knockout smash, which is like just a quicker way to take them out. But it's loud and it attracts enemies towards your location. Location. So you have to take out all the enemies doing this. I need the orange man to go down the stairs. I need this man to just stay on the second level. <laughs> Small window of opportunity. Small. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, that should be it. That should be it. That should be it. Now he's going to inspect. Yeah, he's the last one. This should be it right here. Unless I get shot. <laughs> like, no way I fumble this. But there's no way. Oh, yeah. He turned. Bro, if he turns around magically, you're not reviving him. Sorry. Woo! Let's go. Silent night, deadly night. This next trophy was hard, but it wasn't as bad as Requiem for a Killer or The Curtain Falls. But you have to complete this specific AR challenge without taking any damage throughout any round with three different characters. But you don't have to maintain your combo with this one, which is what makes it easier. Oh, yes. Woo! Let's go. Where's the other medic? Where's the other medic? They're both down. They're both down. What? I definitely pressed. Okay, game. Oh my gosh, game. The start of the fourth round looks like this. You got to deal with two brutes, shield enemies, plus ninja enemies, and dudes who have guns. Whenever the gunmen are about to shoot you, just throw a batarang at them. And same thing with the other trophy. Focus on the brutes, then the medics, then the ninja people, and then the shields. As Batman, you can disarm the gunmen and the shield dudes. I thought that guy was going to hit me. I think that's it. Yes! The chill in the air. Yes! Oh, these trophies are so hard, man. Guys, after that, I only need one more trophy for the Platinum. It's literally to complete the game on New Game Plus. I'm just gonna skip the playthrough. Well, I have to play through it, but for you, you won't have to see anything because of video editing. The Long Halloween and... I am the Batman. We finally got this platinum trophy done, man. It's been like three, almost four weeks. 110 out of 110 trophies. And it took me 130 hours for this. This game reminded me a lot of getting the platinum for Spider-Man. And I actually made a video for that too. You can press here to watch.